This transformer is wound in what I believe is called the bucking coil configuration. It's from a 1929 patent titled Amplifying Transformer. The primary is wound over top of the secondary, but the secondary is split into two halves. The one half is wound starting from the middle to the outside, and the other half of the coil is wound in reverse starting from the bottom going up to the middle. So in other words, A and B is the outer parts of the windings. I want to change my turn ratio, but I wanted to show you what was happening with this transformer before I go making any changes. Notice what happens when I connect the load on the secondary. The meter and the amps are both connected on the primary. Instead of the amps going up, they're going down. All transformers I know, when you connect the secondary, the current's supposed to increase in the primary. Got a couple advantages going on with this. The transformer is also letting you use it in series with the load. So say you want to run a light bulb, you can run a light bulb as you're powering it through the transformer and still getting usable electricity off the secondary. I can't believe the amps are going down. The voltage is holding about the same. what we have in the secondary. About 5.6 volts. And you're getting about 370 milliamps. We're getting that secondary energy without consuming any extra energy from the primary circuit. That's not supposed to be possible. 